What is going on you guys? It is the Milkman here. We are back with another video here. It is day four of a week in the life of a truck driver. We are now headed to the truck. Uh, we're gonna grab the truck. We're gonna go stop at Subway because my girlfriend's hungry. And then we are gonna go get loaded with ice cream in Zimbrota, Minnesota and haul that. There's a few stops along the way. The first one is in Lodi, Wisconsin. The next stop is in Melrose Park, Illinois. And then the last stop will be in, uh, I think it's called Romulus, Michigan. So if you guys know how to pronounce that, then you can comment below and let me know how to pronounce that. But otherwise, that's what I'm gonna call it. So we will see you guys when I get to the truck here and we get on the way. All right, you guys, well, my girlfriend made the bed. Looks pretty good. Uh, she's now in there getting Subway. I told her while she's doing that, I'm gonna get my logbook ready to go. I'm gonna get our pre-trip put in there, and then uh, that way, when she or when we when she comes back, we can just get rolling and uh, keep the day moving here. So it is now gonna have us there about 1:30. So I usually like to be at least an hour early, but it is what it is. Sometimes you're not there an hour early, but it's not a big deal as long as I'm there by two o'clock. So they're gonna want the uh, reefer pre-cooled at minus 20, which I already have it going. So one thing I don't fully understand is they want it minus 20, and then you back in, you open the doors in the back end, they don't load you right away, and it just like cools right back down, or um, warms right back up, because it sits there open in their dock for so long. So that's kind of disappointing, because it does cost money to fill that reefer up and keep the fuel uh you know put diesel in it obviously so my brain's not working very well yet this morning i don't know why it's already 12 30. so anyways yeah so that's the only kind of disappointing thing about that uh other than that today i feel like it's going to be a really good day yesterday was a good day it was real easy it's really nice outside which helps a lot when it gets gloomy out it's uh I don't know why gloominess sometimes makes it hard for me to stay positive, but anyways, we're gonna get the log books, log book done here, and then wait for her to come back out and we're gonna get on the way. So we will see you guys when we are on the way. All right, you guys, well, we just got a door here, door 21. You can see it's right next to that Target trailer sitting there. We're gonna get opened up and then we're gonna get backed in Usually once you get backed in here, it, uh, I guess it really depends. You can see, it's really nice out today here. It's really nice out. But also with that nice weather, it means it's warm out. And I mean, you open your doors up and all the cold is just escaping out of the trailer. So I don't know, I don't fully understand it, but I can see why you'd want it to be cool. Try to keep it at 20 below zero. All the doors are open. It's pretty difficult. Alright, so we're gonna get back into the door here.
Well, we are loaded with ice cream here and now heading out from Zabrona, Minnesota. And we are going to get our way over to Lodi. some uh, Lucas oil here and then we got some coolant because the truck was getting a little bit low on that so we're gonna go ahead and add some of both here truck really needs to be washed so I didn't get enough time yesterday to do it unfortunately see there it's just a little bit low but I want to put some Lucas in there because I forgot to tell them to put Lucas in there uh, previously or when I got the oil change last So she's not using oil, that's a good thing. Not at a very fast pace anyways. They're always gonna use a little bit, but. If you guys change your own oil or you uh, have it done for you, comment below, let me know what you guys use. If you use uh, synthetic or just regular or what you do. This look is so thick it takes a little bit to get out of the bottle but I like that because that way it sticks to all the engine parts keeps everything looped up and that's what uh, extends the life of your engine because when stuff gets dry and it dry starts it just creates friction metal on metal and that's not a good thing so we'll see where this puts us here I did myself pretty proud of myself for doing that but uh it's weird it looks way different than the old radiator or uh, I don't know why I keep saying radiator alternator oh shoot a little low I didn't get 
still see it in there when I checked it, but let's put a whole gallon in there, so I don't know where that's all going. Recheck our oil here. in there put that in the truck and then throw that out and we're gonna get back on the road so we'll see you guys out there all right so my girlfriend <laughs> doesn't like coffee uh, but she wants to try my coffee and see what she thinks of it so here we go <laughs> Why do you do that to yourself? <laughs> it's so good. It's so gross. <laughs> well, she still doesn't like coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright. good with the truck in the shot too I got a couple pictures with my truck in there but I'll get it with the GoPro as well here so anyways we got some subway now I'm gonna eat and then get on the way Alright you guys, well we are here, we parked in 
I actually don't remember where this is at. But we're about 18 minutes away from Lodi where we're gonna unload in the morning. Our appointment's at 8 a.m. Gonna try to be there a little bit early. I'm not sure if they will take early appointments, but try anyways. And then we're gonna head over to Melrose. And then right after that, we're gonna head over to Michigan. So hopefully uh, I can get up early enough and I'm gonna go get my truck washed first and then go over there. Uh, but this is where we're gonna park for the night. We're at the Petro right off of 94 and 39 where they meet. So uh, we're gonna just watch some movies, have some snacks and uh, pass out. So we'll see you guys tomorrow.